Welcome to the CA Performance Management version 3.5 video CA Performance Management Data Collector Upgrade and Enhanced System Status. A primary goal of CA Performance Management 3.5 is to improve overall system supportability by simplifying internal status retrieval and maintenance workflows. This video examines two new features of version 3.5 which target this goal, enhanced data collector upgrade capabilities and an updated system status page. With each successive revision, CA Performance Management looks to improve the user experience and maximize return on investment by adding valuable features based on user feedback and evolving technologies. Keeping your system up to date with the latest software is crucial in order to take advantage of the full capabilities offered by CA Performance Management when managing your monitored environment. Improvements to the Data Collector, or DC, upgrade process introduced in version 3.5 greatly simplify upgrading while offering in-service operation and minimizing data loss. Successful management of your infrastructure also relies on being able to quickly identify when subsystems are having issues. The Enhanced System Status page meets this need by providing an at-a-glance health summary on a number of system components. Let's first look at DC upgrading. Prior to version 3.5, upgrading data collectors was an intensely manual process involving SSH, transferring files, and running an installer as illustrated here. It was also highly repetitive, having to be done for each collector individually. CA Performance Management introduces a new UI-based workflow which greatly simplifies and automates the process. DC upgrading works on any DC at version 3.5 or later and takes place on the data collectors page reached from the administration menu as we'll see next. Once at the data collectors page, Upgrading consists of first choosing the DCs you want to upgrade, selecting the new upgrade button, then responding to a confirmation box. In order to efficiently handle very large installations with many DCs, the upgrade process is time sliced. This means that DCs are upgraded in batches rather than all at once effectively throttling the upgrade processing load on the data aggregator or DA. The parallel processing batch size is configurable and defaults to two. When a DC finishes upgrading, a new DC automatically begins the upgrade process, keeping the number of currently updating DCs equal to the batch size until the entire complement of DCs is upgraded. The selected DCs will be upgraded to the version of the DA. When upgrading, the status column in the data collector's pane shows the upgrade state of each DC as it transitions from upgrade pending to upgrading and finally collecting data when finished, as seen here. There is also a state called data catching up. This state means that the upgrade process is on hold for a given DC because it has a cache backlog of data being offloaded to the DA. A backlog can form whenever the DA-DC connection is interrupted, such as when the DA itself is upgraded. The data catching up state illustrates the intelligence built into the upgrade process. By automatically delaying an upgrade until the forwarding of cache data is complete, data loss is minimized. Besides the UI, the entire DC upgrade process can be driven programmatically via the DA's RESTful Web Services interface. A new system status page is also introduced in CA Performance Management 3.5. This page, seen here, provides information on the health of system components and can be reached from either the administration menu or by selecting the system status icon. Previously, the system status represented the combined state of the data synchronization processes of the CA Performance Center data sources. In version 3.5, the system status has now been extended to incorporate the statuses of the DA, DCs, and if installed, BNA Gateway and Operational Intelligence Connector. If applicable, the DA substatus will include the health of a fault-tolerant DA offered by version 3.5's high availability architecture. The system status value and its corresponding icon reflects the most critical of any of the subsystem statuses. Here, the system status is degraded due to the busy synchronization state of the CA Spectrum data source. For more detailed information about data collector upgrade, 
Enhanced System Status, or other 3.5 features, click the Information Bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to the product documentation, visit the CA Communities, or see the learning path. 